Okay, so we ready to rock. Okay, so the warm, so the warm. Form your soul. Call hello, Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahadadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. We just want to say for water to all the oxen and aqua. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Yashah Khanan. That the brother Harad. And hey, again, we come out. Whether it's wet, dry, snowing, sleet, as long as the Hawa Bashim Yahweh Shai permits, we come out and let our people know. You so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. We'll let you know that you are the true Hebrew Israelites, according to the scriptures. And a lot of what's been going on as of late is, you know, you're hearing a lot of, there's a lot of traffic with this Kyrie Irving thing going on, a lot of traffic with the Kanye thing going on, and um, hey, they said in the, uh, the book that they're mad at Kyrie about, the movie, it says that the sales done went up 800%, bro. It says it... it <laughs> I was I was I was watching the Apostle video this morning, and and he was reading the article or whatever it was. He said that that traffic has brought this truth to the eyes of like two point one billion people within the past two weeks. So hey, this truth is going out. But see, it's for you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Hebrew Israelites. We're living in the last days. And it is high time to wake out of sleep. That feels turn up. Yup. And, 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 and the gospel is simple, man. The gospel is very simple. Preach that the kingdom is at hand. Uh, Matter of fact, see if I can find out. Here. Yeah, we're out here to teach that the kingdom is at hand. And that, hey, it's about time to go home, man. Uh, it's time for the so-called white man's kingdom to fall. And it's time to get the hell out of here, man. And, and we should be. And we, you should be tired, man. We're tired, man. When the scripture says they worn out the saints, <laughs> bro, we worn down, man. But hey, we gonna still do this work, though. You can see it. You can see yeah, it. you can see it. Now you get the whip and you tell your mama, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. You're right. We have to be begging the Lord, okay. We're going to do right. For sure. Hey, let's get Matthew. Let's start on Matthew 3 and 1. But yeah, it was just a gentleman, older gentleman, just pulled up. And he seen us. And he just pulled up and rolled down his window and was asking us what we was doing. And, and that's why it's so important that, that we come out here on these highways and byways, man. Because you never know who the, um, the elect are, man. You don't know who's going to pull up. You don't know who's going to... You know, we hadn't gotten started yet. We was just about to get started. When he pulled up, and we hadn't pushed the record button yet, but you know, he saw the signs, he saw us in the, in the garments, and he wanted he, he inquired about what was going on, but we told him that we were teaching the scriptures. Uh -huh. You know, we told him that we are the children of Israel. And he was an older gentleman, but he he had heard somewhat of what was going on with the Kanye and you know, um Kyrie situation. Go ahead, I Matthew 3 and 1. We're gonna get those. Yeah, yeah, three and one. Basically, um, read the verse two. And so I'm saying, hey, John, the Baptist, preach in the wilderness of Judea. Yep. And say, repent, ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's what we're out here to do, man. Repent. We're telling our people to repent because the kingdom is at hand. How do you repent? First off, you have to know the true name of our Father, which is Yahweh. Which means that he exists who he is to be. And then you have to know that you have to go through his son, Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. Uh -huh. And another main stumbling block that's that's really holding our people up is, is that they believe that the Lord is some white man. The Lord is not some blonde haired, blue eyed white guy. You see? The scriptures describes the Lord as being a dark, melanated man. Matter of fact, let's go to that, Ak. Let's get Revelation um, chapter one. Revelation chapter 1, um, start at, let's start at verse 13. But a lot of people don't know this, man. White Jesus has been beaten into us for generation after generation after generation, man. 
I just done a lesson earlier. I'm still updating it to a few more channels, but it was talking about how America don't want to admit to the crimes that they committed against the children of Israel. They just look at it like, you know, well, those were the times then, and, you know, we're living in a new day now, and nothing should be done about it, or well, there's nothing we can do. But what they don't know is the Lord is coming to handle that, man. The Lord requires that which is past. Go ahead, I, you there? My bad. Um, uh, yeah, verse 13. Start at verse 13. Revelation 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like our true son, a man clothed with a garment down to his foot. So the Yahweh side, he had on a garment similar to what we have on right here, down to the foot. Go ahead, I. And, and, and girt up about the, the pep and, and with a golden, a golden girdle. Like a like a war belt, right, right, you know, right, like right. like like a, like you know a, a wrestling champion belt or a boxing champion belt. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, Ock. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head, his head and his hairs were white and woolly, like almost like how my beard is, how like the brother's hair is, woolly. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, Ock. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. A flame of fire. And his feet like on some fine brass. Now the color of fine brass, let me see if I have a penny in my pocket. No, I don't have no change on me. But it, a fine brass is somewhat like the, the color of a penny, like copper. But let's see how dark that brown was. Hold oh, on, I got one right here. You know, if you can see that, that's about the color of, of, of a bronze, right? Go ahead, I. Like on some fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. Now that brass was dark like, as if it burned in a furnace. When you burn something in a furnace, it gets darker. I've actually done videos on that. You can Google polished brass, and what you're going to see is it's all different shades of browns of it. It depends on how long you leave it in the, in the furnace, how long you basically process it, so to speak. Because you, you, there's lighter shade. That's just like the children of Israel. It's all different shades of the children of Israel. But just so happened our Lord, Yahweh Shai was dark. He was a dark man. Woolly hair, you know? Woolly textured hair. So we had to get out of the mindset of that stumbling block of our Lord being this so-called white man, right? So that's a real stumbling block. That's one of the things that actually got us into a lot of trouble. Actually, um, let's go through the Ten Commandments. I, um, Exodus chapter 20. Because this is very, very important. The reason why we're in the state as a people that we're in, because we started to worship idols and other gods of these wicked ass nations, man. And we left off from the law, statutes, and commandments. It's real simple. You see? But now in these last days, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's waking us up to really accept his son for who he really looks like for who he really is, and who he really has come for. You see, he's breaking that stumbling block of white Jesus, man. Let's go ahead, I've got, uh, uh, let's start, let's start from the top, um, uh, 20 and 1. Yeah, yeah, let's start from the top. That's 20 and 1. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord, thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the of the house of bondage. So the Lord brought us out of Egypt. We're those same people that were in Egypt. The Lord brought us out of Egypt. It was called the house of bondage. Today, America is called spiritual Egypt. That's the reason why they had that pyramid on the back of their dollar. You see? If you have a dollar bill, I'm sure you know what it is. You've seen the back of them. It has a pyramid on it. Why? Because they know that they have the children of Israel back in Egypt in slavery again. Go ahead, I. Thou shalt shall have no other gods before me. See, that's the point. Thou shalt have no other god other than Yahweh by Shimei our side. You see, because that's what's got us into trouble every single time. And we've been into countless slaveries, man. And then we'll cry out to the Lord and tell him how sorry we are. 
and then we'll be all right for a little while, and then we'll go right back to worshiping some wicked-ass idols, man. The apostle, he went into it beautifully, too, because he was talking about the um, the Catholic Church and how it has those, those arches. Those are groves. Those were groves in the scriptures at the top that, um, 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 that you know, um, I think king, I can't think of which king, he tore them down. But, you know, each king, the northern kingdom was wicked as hell. They just went along with the flow. But a lot of um, the southern kingdom, the Jews or whatever, they were okay about keeping, you know, the law, statutes, and commandments, even though they went off too. But those groves, it talks about them eating swine's flesh, you know. But go ahead, I. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. No graven images. You're not supposed to have that so-called white man above your chimney or, or in your in your living room, you know, next to your Obama picture, man. Go ahead, Doc. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. See, we're not supposed to be, and we're, we're, we have faith that he is. That's what his name means. He is. He's the, the existing one. We don't have to make up no images of our Lord. We know that he's out here. You can see the process of his, his creation that he's here. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, Doc. Or that is in the earth beneath. Or that is in the waters under the earth. So in other words, you have all these nations, these heathen nations. Man, they have a God. They, serve, they worship fish. They worship cattle. They worship sun, moon, stars. All kinds of shit, man. They worship all kinds of stuff. Go ahead, Doc. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. That's a commandment. Thou shalt not bow thyself down to them, nor serve them. And what do our people do? Matter of fact, our people see the so-called white man as a god. That's going to vote. That's a part of serving them. Oh, yeah. Well, that, yep, that too. You see how many Negroes is out here still wearing masks? Because they believe in their God that they're going to catch something, man. They went out They went out and rolled their sleeves up because they look at this man as their God. They're not understanding that, you know, Deuteronomy 32 and 39, the Lord, he the one that kills and makes alive. He wounds and he heals. He says that there's no God with him and neither can no one get you out of his hand. So if he's in control of life and death, then, 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 then. What, what, what's a mask going to do? It's plenty of people that wore their mask all year long and didn't even wake up this morning. Because <laughs> it was just time for the Lord to punch their clock. Go ahead, no, Ock, what up? You got on that. Oh, yeah, 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 this is what we want right here. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, for I, the Lord, my, my God, am a... Jealous God. The scripture says that the Lord thy God is a jealous God. Our Lord is jealous. That's why you can't do it. Here you go. You got the average wicked ass so-called black woman in America. She's mad because a, a, a man is with another woman, though he can have another wife, but she, he's mine. If you can be jealous, why can't the Lord be jealous? You see? It's actually hypocritical. Our people can be jealous, but the Lord can't be jealous. But what, you, what you're going to find out is, is you can't be as jealous as the Lord. The Lord, and that's a different um, 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 step up on jealousy, man. Because you see what he's done to us. If you if you a man, you come home and your woman is in a bed with another dude. And you taking care of everything. You paying the bills. You got her the car that she wants. You paying her car insurance. You know what I'm saying? She's on your health insurance at your job. Uh -huh. All kinds of shit. You doing everything. And then you you just happen to get off one day and try and surprise. And you got a gift with you trying to surprise her that you getting off early. Like, you know, then you get into the house. It's some nigga in there, man. What are you going to do? Uh -huh. What are you going to do? And, 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 and the book of Proverbs, I think that is, it goes off into um. Jealousy, 
block. I'm trying to, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that proverb. Six in. Stay where you at real quick. Uh, um... Now, this is the way that the Lord sees it as well. Proverbs 6 and 32. But whoso committed the adultery with the woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroys his own soul. A wound in his honor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. For jealousy, what we just talked about, jealousy is the rage of a man. So if we can be feeling rage about our woman or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Then the Lord, he looks at the children of Israel as his woman. He's enraged that we would go and cheat on him with some other fucking religion or whatever else, you know, when he's taking care of us. He's the one that's providing for us. And then we'll go and say, oh, no, the sun done that for me. The moon done that for me. Or some white Jesus doesn't know, man. That'll cause the rage. You see where we at? Us being in the conditions of, of being in America at the laws of the totem pole, being damn, oh, 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 only thing you got on your mind is being a damn rapper or a basketball player or some shit. Oh. All you want to do is entertain, man. That's a curse. That's, hey, that's the result of being kicked out the house, man. Here you go, you used to be fresh to death. The Lord had kicked you out of the house and kept all your shit. <laughs> you, you ain't get to leave with the suitcase, man, with, your, with, with the stuff he bought you. You see? Right. It says, for the jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. See that? He will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though thou givest him many gifts, though thou givest many gifts. So you can try and offer a jealous man some shit. He gonna be like, he gonna want to tear your damn head off, man. He catch you in his house with his woman. And that's how the Lord feels, man. Go ahead, though, Op. That was pretty much about Vis it. Visiting the, the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third or fourth generation. Okay, so, so as you can see, our Lord is a jealous power, man. As a matter of fact, let's go on the road with Romans chapter 1. Because the Lord said, have no other gods before him, man. And this is why a lot of our people are in the situations that they're in, man. That's why it's important to, to continue on praying to you how about Shimei was side and he will not blow out his candlestick. Your candlestick will remove his Holy Spirit from you. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. I, uh, no, matter of fact, let me select you. Let's get um, around about verse 25 or so. 20. Oh, let's start at um. Let's start at twenty-one. Boom. and glorified him not as Yahweh. Go ahead, I. Neither were thankful. We wasn't thankful. Neither were we thankful. Go ahead, I. Though he was doing everything for us, still we're... Like, he, just like the flag was when he was today. Yeah, hey, perfect example, man. And that's the reason why I see the Lord place our women over us because of what we done. He made... He said, All right, I'm going to show you how I feel. Because as men, really... You know, it, it fell on us because we weren't handling business, really. And he was like, you know what? Since y'all going to cheat on me, so to speak, I'm going to show you with your woman. I'm going I'm, I'm to have your woman set up against you. Uh, Go ahead, I. Neither were the thankful, but became vain in their in, 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 in imagination. imagination. They would see we became vain in our imagination. Useless. Just useless thoughts, man. Thought that, that's going nowhere. Go ahead, Ock. And then foolish heart goes dark. Foolish heart goes dark. Go ahead, Ock. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And that's our people. You can't tell Jake. Jake know it all, man. 
try to, try to have a conversation with Jake. Jake's going to act like he know every single thing about him. You can't tell him nothing, man. Professing themselves to be wise, but they're a damn fool. Uh. You see? We come out here on the highways and byways. We study the scriptures to show ourselves the truth. We do the best that we can with coming out and bringing that information to our people. And they, they fucking mock and scorn. And then only know them, them two, three Bible scriptures that they learn, <laughs> you know, and get to trying to talk to you about. Like, we don't know what we're talking about, man. We're breaking the scriptures down, precept upon precept, just thinking of one scripture. And he's just professing himself to be wise, man. And there's been a lot of women been doing a lot of lessons, a lot of videos lately. I seen the one last night, man. I, I barely even watched the videos, man. But the sister, we not Hebrews. We not Hebrew Israelites. We, we, we Gentiles and everybody can be saved. And those Hebrew Israelites, they out there on the street. Oh. Bro, it, it ain't been a lot of women. I can't stand them. A lot of women been doing these videos. There was one Jake, too. You know what I'm saying? There was one Jake, too. I was watching it. Man, I was looking at that shit like, no understanding, bro. Absolutely no understanding. Going all the way in. But go ahead, I. You women gonna get destroyed, man. Y'all keep that shit up. Okay. The glory of the earth. This is the point right here that, you know, what we were just reading in Exodus. And say the glory of the earth. I'm corrupted. God into, a, into an image made like corruptible man. You see it. And change the glory, see, of the uncorruptible power, our Lord Yahweh, into the image of a corruptible man, which is the so-called white man. Come on, man. Go ahead, Ock. And to birds and four-foot-footed beasts and creepy beasts. See, they, they, they created all kinds of animal statues. Motherfuckers out here worshiping eagles. He out here worshiping buffalo. He out here worshiping, you know, fish, the sun, the stars. They worshiping everything except for the creator, man. They re they're, they're worshiping the, cre the creation instead of the creator. You got some of these religions where they, they got multiple gods. Where you think all that, that Greek mythology and uh, Zeus and and, 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 and motherfuckers throw on lightning from heaven and all this other stuff come from. That even goes off into your days of the week. Your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Your days of the month. Those are named after Greek gods, Roman um, deities, man. That's why you got these, 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 these Israelites that's out here talking about the savages from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. But there was no Friday and Saturday in the Bible. Then you get to telling them that it goes by the new moon. Oh, no, nah, man. Oh, no, I mean, you know, we don't get into no arguments with nobody about it. Because, you know, just for edification, we have to let the people know what the scriptures actually says, man. Come, come. You see what I'm saying? We have to let them know. But that ain't when it goes by the new moon. Go ahead, Doc. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanliness. See? Now, now, see, this is what happens. This is what's happening when, when, you, when you, you change the Lord into an incorruptible shit. He'll give you up to vile affections, man. You see? Go ahead, I. The lust of their own heart. He'll give you your lust of that lustful shit that you're thinking of. He'll give it to you. Go ahead. Go ahead and see how it turned out for you. Go ahead, I. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. See? They dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who changed the truth of the hour about Simeon was signed to a lie? Mainly the so-called white man. Because he's the one that's out here telling you that the Lord, the angels, the prophets, the disciples, he's the one telling you that everyone in the scriptures looks like them. He's the one that's telling you that. Go ahead, I. And whisper and serve the creature more, more than the creator. See, they worship and serve the creature more than the Lord. You know? You got people, man, they, they worship their kids. 
They worship their wife. They, hey, it's people out here that worship a you know NBA player, a, a, a musician. That's why they call them idols. And you have a TV show here in America called American Idol, man. <laughs> that, that ought to tell you right there where you at, man. This is Babylon the Great. Go ahead, I. Who is blessed forever? Amen. Who is blessed forever? Amen, man. Go ahead, I. Because this is going to go up into why you're seeing so many of these alphabet people running around. For well, this cause God gave them up unto vile affection. He gave them up to vile affection. Oh, the Lord, he loves me. You know, hey, because the Christian church will tell you he loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. Come as you are. That's why you got so many of these churches now. Man, it, it, it's, a, it's a gang of LGBTQ churches. And they got a Bible that's called the under Queen James Bible. Uh -huh. That's wickedness, man. But the Lord gave them up to vile affection to set their asses up to roast them, man, in these last days. Go ahead, I. For even their women did change the natural use into the which is against nature. See, the woman is, is now with the woman now. Go ahead, I. And likewise, also the men. Likewise, also the men. The men that change, they, 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 you got men on men and women on women now, man. Go ahead, Ock. Leaving the use, leaving the natural use of women, of the woman. Burn in, in, in their lust, one for another. Leaving the natural use of the woman burning in lust. That's not love, they call it love, but there actually is lust. Go ahead, Ock. Men with men, Working that which is un unseemly. Men with men working that which is unseemly. What's unseemly? Some some abominable nastiness, man. Go ahead, Ock. And receiving in and themselves that recompense of their error which was least. So now they're receiving that recompense. That's why you'll see. And so why are they saying that there's this high volume of transgenders being killed. Why are they saying that? Because that's a penalty from Yahweh by Jimmy Yahweh's side. See? See, the Lord is merciful. He's long-suffering. And he gives you an opportunity to repent. But if you don't, lights out, man. Why you think so many diseases? Why you think so many trans sexually transmitted diseases amongst that particular community? Why is it so much HIV if it's so good? Why, why, why is it so, why? If it's so righteous, man. Here you go, you got these people standing in the pulpit trying to teach the scriptures, man. Living the most abominable way that, that could be, had it been the ancient days, you'd been put to death. But you got Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he done wrote in the law where you can actually provide, you can, you can pull that off here. But that don't have nothing to do with the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh. The Lord will still get at you. The Lord is not limited by the so-called white man's law. You see? What else you got on that, huh? But those are just part of the things that will happen if you start to worship idols. This is why Yahweh saw, he said, don't do what these other nations are doing when I give you that land. Because these were things that the Canaanites were going to do. Why you Negroes, y'all want to be Africans? The Africans was into some of the most disgusting shit is the reason why the Lord had the Israelites kill off so many of them, man. They're supposed to wipe them out and not learn any of their ways. Now, here you go in the Americas. Uh, uh, America, it's a lot of Egyptian stuff still going on. A lot of wickedness, man. A lot of witchcraft, man. Here you go. The Lord said, be fruitful and multiply. And you got two niggas rubbing up against each other. That's not making no... There's no multiplication to that. You two women. That, that, that's nothing but subtraction, man. You see? The Lord created the male and female. Uh, and a lot of these people, man, they be coming back and getting their judgment, man. In that third and fourth generation, like the scripture says. You down here, you want to be wicked as hell. You go to the spirit world. The Lord judge you and send you back down here. And you living it out. Scary business, man. That's why we pray to Yahweh about Shimei Oshai, man, for just endurance, man. 
I was just reading in the book of um, Psalms 119. That's a real long chapter, too. I think it's like 170 verses, 180 verses. But it's all about keeping the law, statutes, and commandments and, 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 and basically loving the Lord's precepts because they keep you alive. And the Lord, he, he loves those that, that, that keep his, what he said to do, man. I prefer to go out being a martyr, do what the Lord told me to do, than being a wicked-ass man, man. You see? And, and, and a lot of people, they don't believe that, though. Let's get, um, since we already in Romans, go over two chapters, Romans 3. So if we're going to do the work, the Lord said, whether they hear or forbear, go out and tell my people what's up. Trump can paraphrase it, man. Blow that trumpet. That's why we're out here. We're out here to blow the trumpet and let our people know that the kingdom is at hand, that the Lord is coming soon, and that's whether you believe it or not, man. But the blood is off our hands. Chapter 3, verse 3, y'all. Chapter 3, verse 3. For well, what if, if some did not believe? So their, their unbelief makes the faith of God without effect. So what if some did not believe? That's not going to make the Lord's, um, what, Lord's will stop. The prophecy is still going to happen. Whether you believe it or not, whether you believe that we are the Hebrew Israelites or not, it's not going to make no difference because it's not going to stop what the Lord is doing, man. And we're just all a part of the big movie. And you have, you have protagonists and um, antagonists in movies, man. You always have a hero, hero, and you always have a villain. And, and this is a beautiful movie. See, the villain, and, 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 and generally in movies, the villain, he got the spotlight there in the whole movie, man. Until the end, when the hero pops up, and that's where we at. We're pretty much at the end of this movie where the hero is about to prevail, man. The Lord is about to come on the scene and take down our enemy, man. Matter of fact, let's go to um, Luke. Hey, let me get this, this, this verse 4 right quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Verse 4. God forbid, yay. Let God be true, but every man a liar. Yep, let the Lord be true, and every man a liar. And it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and might, mightest overcome when thou art judged. See? Hey, man, we, we, hey, we're to believe in you. How about Shimei was shy, man? Fuck what the so-called white man is telling you. Like, for real, because that, that guy is the biggest liar on the planet, man. The scripture says that they, they come from the womb, man, lying, man. They're, 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 they're strange from the womb. What is that, um... That song. They come from the womb speaking lies, man. That's not what it was. And it's that Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies, man. See? So we're definitely not about to believe nothing that the so-called white man has to say, man. Hey, that boat didn't sail. You didn't have your opportunity to, to, to push all your bullshit on us, man, through your, your bullshit history, you know, your, your bullshit religion. You see? <laughs> I was watching this old black and white um, video, and it was from back when, the, you know, the um, Martin Luther King days and stuff. And it was this so-called white man. He was in a barbershop interviewing this young Jake, right? Man, that young Jake was going in on his ass, man. He was going in, he was sitting there flipping little man's hair. I seen that. Bro, he was going, he was going, hey, but you can't, you. And when I seen that, he was just stupid man. Bro. He was like, yeah, you, you, you come over here, y'all. Play all this on us. Y'all, we. I put it up as a short, I tried to put it up as a short. I think I went a second over, but I reposted it. He was going in, but he was telling the truth. Right. He was like, your, your religion is some bullshit, you know? Like, your whole system is some bullshit. And that's so far away, he had the dumbest look on his face. Because he knew that there was truth to it. Right. 
But they're not going to admit to that stuff, man. And if you come across somebody that looks like a so-called white man and he's telling on their own people, so to speak, he more than likely might be a Jake. Yeah, but they got a, they got a, he they might got, be a, 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 a speckled bird, man. They got a, they got a white, well, he look white. He, 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 he preaching that body. He is white. He, he plays. He got, he got, uh, he showing everything and being an Israelite. He just look, look like white. Yeah, guy. yeah. But hey, that, 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 hey, that scriptural though, man, that we will be scattered through the four corners of the earth. If we're scattered through the four corners of the earth, of course not all of us are going to look like Dan Wesley Snipes, man. It's just not going to happen, man. Once we start to blend and intermingle with these women of these nations, after two or so generations, man, that color is pretty much eradicated. If a so-called black man get with a so-called white woman, we have a son together. Our son, he comes out, look, you know, looking fairly yellow, so to speak, or, or, or light-skinned or whatever. He grows up and has a baby with a so-called white woman. Hey, that dark color is gone, man. It may pop up in another, about five, six generations, and somebody, some white people will be like, why the fuck you cheated up? You know, that gene might pop back up. Or some surprise and break a white family. <laughs> I, got, I hear you got, got the woman out here think, got the man out here thinking a woman and cheating on him with a Negro. Yeah. What was that movie like? You see that movie like where they, they had the baby? And, yeah, and the, 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 uh, Bodine, what's his name? Uh, the guy, uh, I'll be the baby <laughs> But hey, Jake had that hit. What was that, the Warden's daughter? Yeah, yeah. Man, Jake had knocked her down. Hey, but she, she was with it. Had that little, 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 little raising that. <laughs> they got to the real father. That's when she was like, hey, 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 my baby. But hey, that, but hey, that's the, hey, Jake done, done, done planted seed, man, throughout the four corners of the earth like that, yeah, man. We was doing it, we was doing it even slaves to the, to, to, to the history. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it, slave woman. And that life movie wasn't nothing but the damn slavery, too. Exactly. Matter of fact, I was just, um, I done that lesson yesterday on uh not even, <laughs> Hey they, they you know they was voting bro? Let me see if I I still got it in my head. Yeah, you know they was voting on it, it it was like I can't even think how many states they had it on the ballot to get rid of slavery. They still got it on the books, bro. Mm -hmm. And you know it was one of those states that was like, no, we still we need to keep it. I was like, God, hey, but that lets you know, man. I mean, I have it no more. You know, that's sad that in 2023, you still have slavery on the books where you're voting for it to be taken off of your books in your states, man. That lets you know, see, you wicked ass so-called white people, you're gonna pay for the, the, the treachery that you've done, man. You're gonna pay for the treachery that you've done, man. And we know we ain't free. Oh yeah, for sure. Now this is one that I um I was talking about earlier. It says Americans need to accept that the founding fathers were racist. And you know you go into the comments, man. These motherfuckers just they ain't, they ain't trying to admit it. Uh, we ain't had nothing to do with it. But yeah, yeah. let's 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 get Isaiah um 14 and 21 out because you have these so-called white people. Hey, this was a, a, a good article, though. I read it. You know what I'm saying? But it went off into talking about how George Washington had niggas' teeth in his mouth for gentures. Can you imagine you, 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 not only are you working the shit out, you, you know, you're being worked hard as hell in the fields. You're working from sunup to sundown. You barely, you know, you got the hardest of conditions. And then a, a, a so-called white man, he lost all his teeth. He had you sit down and pull your teeth some white man pulling your teeth out and put this motherfucker some dishes together. Can you imagine that? That was in this article too. See, you so-called white people, what's starting to happen is the Lord is lifting up your skirt. A lot of the atrocities that you committed out here in this planet are starting to come to full scale. It's, it's on a scale where everybody's starting to see it. 
Go ahead, I, you got that. Yep. Prepare slaughter for his children, See? for the iniquity of their fathers. So when you be talking about, hey, I had nothing to do with it, but you benefit from the, 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 the blood, sweat, and tears of our people every day. You see, because we're still working bullshit-ass jobs, man, serving you people. You see, if the job's not good enough for you, you just at home. I'm not taking it. Jake, we got to go and take whatever we can get to put food on the table, man. Here you go. You got options. You got options because of your white supremacy, man. Supremacy. You got options, man. Go ahead, Ox. And they do not buy, nor possess the land, nor feel the right, the face of the world with city. See, that's what's got to happen. The Lord is going to come and put you in, in the place that you should have been to begin with. But he gave you an opportunity to rule. And what have you done with it? You've torn this damn place up, man. So now, we don't need no more cities from you. We don't need no more of your concrete. We don't need you tearing down, cutting down all the damn trees to build golf courses and shit. Your condominiums with your damn, your, with, your, with your Walmart complexes. No, we don't need you, man. The air all fucked up. The water messed up. GMO foods. You can't, you, we've seen what you would do when you're in, when you're in charge. Huh. It's a wrap, man. We, we, don't, we don't need no more of you, man. Like, for real, for real. Let me see this. Uh... Let's see how long we've been going. Okay, okay. Let's go to uh, Isaiah 47, huh? Yeah, man, we sick of you so-called white. The earth, man. Everybody is sick of you. That hiding behind a blue suit with the red tie, with the white shirt on, with your clean ass face, standing on TV, lying. Hey, people, people, people seeing through that now. We're seeing through that now, man. Get up. Can we start from the top? And matter of fact, that it, 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 it's entitled "Prediction of Babylon Fall." So this place is false. This is Babylon the Great, man. We are in the belly of the beast, man. And it's, man, we ready to get the hell out of here. And I say it all the time, man. If, if the Lord is some white guy, I prefer to go to hell. If that's what you guys are portraying, that there's some guy on the ground. Hey, look, man. We going through enough hell in y'all kingdom, man. Go ahead, I. 47. Come down and sit in the dust. Old virgin, daughter of Babylon. Yep, come down and sit in this dust, man. You're about to be taken completely out of power, man. And it's happening right before our eyes. Go ahead, Ock. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, old daughter of the Chal Chaldean. Chaldean, yep. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. All that old... We're proud to be American. This is the, place, the best place on earth to be. You have hey, you these tourists, they come here. Now, when tourists come here and they have enough money, they're generally in a place where it looks nice. But when they come and they see shit like this, they get the reality of what America is really like, man. At the if they get to live here for a few months, it don't take that long. Now they can come here on a nice holiday week and you know have the nice hotel, go out to eat, you know, the, the lights, you know, the skyline is nice and all. But man, well, if they get to living here and they get to bend in some of these damn corners and seeing what the hell is, look at, if I could turn, I could spin the camera, but you may not be able to see it, but look at all this, man. Look at all this. This is the whole damn block. A building, blight, man. Shit torn all down. Crash all over the damn ground. This place is, 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 is hell, man. But they call it tender and delicate. But it's no longer tender and delicate, man. It's never been, actually. You see? What they pushed on the world is Babylon juice, man. That's just like over in, what was that, North Korea? 
No, South Korea. And all those damn people got um, trampled over in that stampede. A hundred, like 50, 60 people died and shit. Damn. Guess what they was doing? Celebrating Halloween. I'm like, God damn. That Babylon juice of Halloween done reached South Korea. They over there done got stampeded down this small ass alley and everybody getting stomped on, bro. That was just a few weeks back. You see what I'm saying? But that comes from these nations that took on the Babylon juice of America, man. Yeah. Go ahead, Ox. Take the millstone of a grind meal. Uncover thy nook. Uncover thy lock. Yep. Make bare the leg. Make bare the leg, man. Uncover the thigh. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the river. See? Hey, so the Lord is starting to reveal them. Because, you know, hey, in the scriptures it talks about, you know, not seeing another person's nakedness. But they're being revealed like they out here stripped. Like people starting to see like, y'all the problem. It's no longer where they was able to hide in the, in the trenches and, you know, because that, hey, that was their, their main mechanism of not being identified as the fugitive, man. Goddamn Cain, man. You're, you're, they're fugitives, man. What does fugitives do? They are experts at um, basically disguise, man. They'll put on a damn wig. You see what I'm saying? They're experts at disguising themselves. Hey, now, how you doing today? Good. Good. Hebrew Israelites said it's time to wake up out here. Spread out. The nakedness shall, shall be uncovered. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, see? Yea, thy shame shall be seen. See, their shame shall be seen. They, hey, they, they so ashamed right now because every time you look up, it's a it's a it's some on the news showing how how treacherous you bastards have been towards the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. For one, and then not only just with us, it's it, y'all all over all, all over the place. Y'all all over the globe, man, fucking with people, and and, and, and and that's starting to come out. And even your own people are starting to tell on you, man. Go ahead, I. I will take vengeance, and I will not be be as a man. See, the Lord is gonna take vengeance. And when he comes, he's coming with those chariots, man. Or what you so-called white people are calling UFOs. See? You've been hiding that forever. Now, in your CIA documents, and you all on the news with that now. Now you have to admit that there is something out there. Because the people are out here with them cameras on y'all asses, man. Every time you look up, every other day it's a Karen story. <laughs> you see? Y'all starting to be revealed on so many levels, man. So, but when this, hey, this vengeance is coming, then it's going to be fierce, man. Call him all you lie, y'all about to outside, man. We can't wait to see the fall of our enemies, man. We can't wait. Matter of fact, where we at on that, um... Yeah, first four, I... Right? Yep. First four. And for us, the Jesus, the Lord of hosts, is his name, the Holy One of Israel. See that? Our Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, man, is about to come back and get vengeance on his enemies. And that's going up into Psalm 83. You damn Edomites is number one on the list, man. You no. so-called white people. You damn Ishmaelites. You Moabites. You Ammonites, you so-called Japanese, so-called Chinese, you so-called African, you damn, you damn Hamites. And I was just talking about yesterday, you know, I done a little lesson on it. Be careful when it comes to this Wakanda forever shit. Because what they're going to try and do is, with a lot of Jake waking up to this Kyrie Irving shit, and we were just talking about how the, 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 the sales on this Negroes, um, Hebrews the Negroes movie to shut up 800% and Jake started to figure out like, hey, we Hebrew Israelites. We Hebrew Israelites. They gonna push that movie Wakanda on these niggas and, and get them, got you thinking that you a damn bone through the nose ass African. And, th and make you make you think the damn woman is, is, is the head of us. Exactly. I said that too. 
Here you go, you got some bald-headed ass warrior women out here. Like you see? Woman, like a woman can do with a man. They gonna put, but they gonna push that hard on Jake because they don't want Jake to be calling yourselves no Hebrew Israelites, man. They don't want you to know about no Israelite nothing. They gonna try and rock Jake right back to sleep. You know, see Jake got, man, when that first movie came out, Jake made these motherfucking billions of dollars, man. Oh, it's on the first The first Wakanda. They made billions of dollars off of that, man. A lot of, a lot of white folks upset about this. Shit. Oh, yeah. The they first, up, the they, first, they, yeah, they, the first one came out. They, they was upset, upset. yep. Yeah. Now, now that the brother died, and they, they put this woman in, in place, they feel more, more confident because it, 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 it's a lie that they want to push. That the woman is. Well, all of us a lie to begin exactly. with. Yeah, they, they don't want you with no. They had Jake out here with their damn fist up. That right. African this, African that shit. And you got to kill that, that, Hamite, that Hamite spirit, man. I went all off into that too with the um, Zonderman's Bible Dictionary and stuff. Matter of fact, I, I keep this. I pretty much keep this um, as a tab in my hookup, man. <laughs> Straight up. Let me see if I still got it up, though. That's Anonymous Com Compact Bible Dictionary. And it says, Negroes are not from the line of Ham. They have it right here. And you can pull it up. I don't know if you can see it. It might. There you go. It'll focus. But I'll read it, though. It says, Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites, man. So see, we're not Hamites, man. We come from the bloodline of Shem. So don't let them fool you with that Wakanda Forever bullshit with Angela Bassett. Up here, uh, and they just had what was that other um, movie with the so um with the the warrior um um fucking war bitches slacky for the language women being warriors. I can't think of it. It was one they just dropped, man. Bunch of damn women running in, you know. <laughs> like, come on, man. The nigga woman is not over the man, man. No women are over men in general. But they gonna try and push that. I already know. They can't wait. They can't wait. Just like with this, this so-called white guy, he's supposed to be um, the first Orthodox Jew to, to make the, to, suppose, he ain't made the NBA, but he played for Detroit, the G League. You know he had on the, the Maccabees jersey? He went to the Yeshiva University and they, 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 they jerseys got uh, Maccabees on it. And I'm thinking to myself, like, they showing him because he made his um his debut in Detroit right here um the other night. Right. And you know he had the 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 uh, the, the, the Detroit Pistons um yarmulke on and everything. And they trying to act like this motherfucker was so hard, bro, at basketball. And then they trying to throw up in there Kyrie. Man. Desperate, bro. Desperate. This is how they're they're pulling for straws now because they're that, that shit is imploding on them, man, with the lies that they've been telling. Oh, they're scared as hell. Here but you... don't get it twisted. They got one more to bang, they gonna do it. Oh, oh, they about to get down. They about to get down. But after that, it's a wrap. And we already know Jacob's trouble gonna be, hey, they, hey, it's nothing for them. It's to really coming to a two-thirds. To produce, me. yeah, it's nothing for them to produce a false, a falsy, man. A false flag out this, man. Cause see what they're doing is they're they're setting the premise for anybody saying anything against them, whether online in public. It's like they, they just every little thing, every little thing is anti. It's anti this. It's anti that. It's anti this. Anti that. But see, we we know what's up, bro. We're not ignorant of that, man. But they created hate. Everything else in the 60s and 50s. Bro. Even in the 70s and 80s. They doing it now. They doing it now. 
Here you go, you got Jay out here proud as hell to be black. You you ought to be, that's discrimination. Last thing you should be want to be called is black, man. That's the last thing you should want to be called. That's crazy, man. So where we at here? Yeah, we gonna go ahead and about end out. You know, the weather didn't turn out so bad. It's a little wet, a little slush starting, you know. But it's all good, though. But yeah, let's go to our, our, our go out, man. Yeah. Romans 13. Yeah, yeah. Romans 13. Yeah, Y'all remember, man, we're not no damn Africans, man. We are the Hebrew Israelites from our respective tribe, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. The kingdom is at hand. The kingdom is at hand, man. Keep that in mind. We're at the end of this thing, man. Uh -huh. You want to be on the right side of this, man, when you're about to see me on the side, make the, 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 the next big move, man. Praying for endurance, man. Praying that we can make this thing, man, like for real, for real. Go ahead, I. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. It is high time to awake out of sleep. And we, we end out with this scripture every weekend, man. Every week. Because this is an important scripture. It's time for our people to wake the hell up. That's right. Now don't get me wrong. Hey, hey, like I said again, that Kyrie hookup is catching a lot of traction. But we do understand that there's just going to be a handful of people that's really going to react and, 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 and repent, man. See, a lot of Jake going to be running towards that broad gate. We running towards the narrow one. You know? We don't want to be following the, 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 the damn sheep to the slaughter, so to speak. We, we, the, that narrow gate is going to be that gate that you're going to be really following your how about shimmy outside, man, and in and, and, and the 100% and the doctrine of what's being taught. Uh, you see? All that just knowing that you're an Israelite, that shit is not going to be enough. Okay. It's not going to be enough, man. All these women out here teaching, going off. You got the Hebrew Israelites that talk about all black only. You got, uh, you got a camp that's not even teaching the name of your how about some other side? You see? You got camps that's out here that only believe in the Old Testament. Well, I'm satisfied of that because I prayed when I was born. The Spirit brought me to the truth. And I prayed that He would show me the truth. And not let me, let, let me be a steer with, with people steering me wrong. Exactly. That's what we want, man. That's why we study to show ourselves approved. See, it's a, so it's a lot of. That's why this scripture talks about. Um, there's gonna be a lot of people saying, "Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name." And the Lord is like, "Hey, get away from me, man! I know you're not, you wicked, evil people, man." Right. Roughly paraphrasing. You don't want to be like that, man. You see? Cause it, cause this gospel is really very simple. All we doing is coming out and teaching that the kingdom is at hand, man. That's right. It's simple. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people Israel their transgressions. That's what we come out here to do. You see what I'm saying? What's going on now? What's going on, brother? We come out here to let you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans know that you are the Hebrew Israelites and to repent. Because we're living in the last days, man. Go ahead, I... The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Put off the works of darkness, man, while you have an opportunity to do so. You see? You're supposed to be making haste to come into this truth as soon as you hear it, man. You got Jake, man. Oh, yeah, I'll be back and see you all next week. Y'all got us. Like the brother he wrote, y'all got us. Y'all got an establishment? Y'all got a building? This is a building. Time. You don't have time for the Lord. But you got time for everything else. The Lord is going to create everything for you. Yeah, man. But this is the building. The scripture says when two or three are gathered in my name, Yahweh size is in the midst of us, man. This is the building. This is the church right here. Uh -huh. We don't need an establishment. 
We don't need a building for you to come to. Now, you got one. There's nothing wrong with it. You know? There's nothing wrong with that. But we, had we not been out here, he wouldn't have not had seen us. Uh. <laughs> you see, it's that simple. You see what I'm saying? But like I said again, hey, it's our time to awake out of sleep. Hey, you have to know the importance of the, the Father's name, Yahweh. Repent to him in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son. And you know, uh, with IUIC, you know they was in the New York Post yesterday, right? IUIC. Uh, yeah. So, the reporter was out there, because you know they out there in front of, um, uh, Barclay Center, you know what I'm saying, in Brooklyn. Oh, when they had that, you know. When they was in Brooklyn, you know, out there protesting for Kyrie, so to speak. So, you know, he, he looked like a small hat. He had this one guy that came up and he interviewed him and shit for the New York Post. And they out there going all hard for Kyrie, but not one time did they mention get hold of our city outside, man. We're Israel. Well, he said we're Israel united in Christ. I'm looking like, oh man, you had an opportunity to, to, to tell millions of people we're out here to represent you. How about Shimei Shai and to let you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans know that you're on the Hebrew Israelite. But what are you doing? But you know they say a lot, a lot of brothers say here, hey, you pro you promote your school. No, it was the, um, the deacon I time one. Oh. The, with the tall one with the glasses. He was the one that was doing the interview. Oh. And he was being PC as hell. I mean, you know, I, I get it. You want to use wisdom with the word, but he was being soft, bro, in my opinion. But my thing is, is that went to the New York Post. A lot of people read the Post. I've done plenty of lessons on stories that's in the New York Post. Yeah, the New York Post has some of the... The wildest shit <laughs> being written, that's New York. Huh. You see what I'm saying? Here he go, we're Israel, united in Christ. Like, man, why don't you tell the people, you know what I'm saying, that we are the Hebrew Israelites and that our Lord's name is Yah. They're telling the people that, well, we don't really know his name. But you know what? They got Israelite names. They come into IUIC and they change their names to Israelite names. Yeah, but they don't know the name of the, they, they claiming we don't know the true name I of the father. See, I did see another group going against them about that. Matter of fact, why, why would y'all, yeah. went through all this, and y'all want to You know, we don't probably know the Hebrew, but you got Hebrew names. Y'all want to call him Jesus and, 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 and all this other shit. No, I think, matter of fact, I think that if you, you can't even get into their school, you have to change that from what I've heard. You have to change your legal name, your government name, to an Israelite name to be in IUIC. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's the question. If, if you telling me, we as his people, he is the Almighty. We just people. We ain't shit. Yeah. You telling me. And you want to be properly called Bishop Nathaniel, man. Huh. You want us to have. You want it. us to call you by your proper name, your proper title, but you can't call on your. Why are you even saying Christ then if you don't know the name? You might as well just be like a to the unknown God, like how Paul said. To, to the, um, what was them, them wicked ass, I think, what was it? Um, I'm not sure if that was the ones in um, Ephesus or the ones that was, um, that was worshiping Diana. And they had a, uh, let me see. They had a, 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 an inscription that said the unknown God. They might as well say that. Uh, they better off saying that than calling those Jesus in the Christ. Yeah, yeah, uh, Acts chapter 17 and 23. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God, whom therefore he ignorantly worships him, declare I unto you. So they ignorantly worship, you know what I'm saying, this unknown God. Paul was there to tell him what was up. So, and that's the reason why we're out here, man. So, to me, it looked kind of shabby with them doing an the interview right there in front of Mark Calais like that. They grabbed the attention. I'm sure they're going to get more marchers. Because you know they were here in the city, you know what I'm saying, so-called 5,000 deep. Talking about who's the king? Christ! Who's the king? Christ! Who's the king? Like, man, y'all... Come on, man. We're too close to the end for that type of shit. But the thing of it is, is they just truly don't believe. They can't. They can't, man. There's too many holes in their doctrine anyway. 
But anyway, we're going to close out. You so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, man, wake up. Wake up, man. And that's the title of Homeboy, well, you know, the, the semi-title on the Hebrews and Negroes, Black Americans Wake Up. Like, man, hey, look, wake up to the fact that you're a Hebrew Israelite and get into the real uh, realness of this truth, man. Repent. Repent. And start following the law. Hey, hey, hey if I say go follow GMS, because that's who we work with. We give um, double honors to our apostles of GMS. You know, we're not in GMS, but we're affiliated by the teachings of GMS. So we, we follow what they teach. You know what I'm saying? If they, hey, we, we, we. Because we, we really do, by the Spirit, feel as if they have the 100% truth, man. Uh. I haven't seen no falters yet, man. Not, like, for real, for real. So, we've been fed. We've definitely grown. You know? So, follow G. And that's why I was telling that, that older gentleman. You know, Google. Um, we're going to YouTube. We put in um, Great Millstone, GMS, or whatever city you in. If you're in Atlanta, you can put in GMS Atlanta. If you're in Detroit, you can put in GMS Detroit, you know, Dallas. Because the Hebrew Israelites are all over the place. But there are camps that's out here. They're not teaching the full truth, man. And it's important that you not get caught up into that. Don't be camp hopping. Because you might have a brother. They, they sound deep. They know a whole bunch of scriptures. But if they doctrine is off by 1%, man, they're going off. Straight up. So with that... We're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah HaKadash. Double honors again to our apostles of Great Millstone, who were well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all you Akim Aqua that's out here sincerely keeping the law of sacrifice and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of your ability again. And with that, Shalom! Kwam Yashralom! Kwam Yashralom!